You've done a great job getting your name out there, um, making people aware of you, but you've been unable so far to get another big name in the ring. Why do you think that is? Well, that's because they're scared to fight me. I've been trying to fight, you know, the top guys. I've been calling them out. Um, I was a, I was one of the first people to actually call for Lomachenko to when he was the boogeyman and no one wanted to fight him and he was the pound for pound best. Devin Haney was the only one that kept calling for Loma. Meantime, Devin, I, I appreciate the fact that you're fighting whoever they put in front of you. You're winning. You're working your way up the rankings. If you can't get a shot, that's not your fault. As I said, you're doing also a very good job of getting yourself out there and promoting yourself. Nevertheless, to me, because Teofimo beat Lomachenko, who had collected all the belts, Teofimo's the lightweight champion of the world, like it or not. How do you feel about that? He didn't collect all the belts. I still have the I have the WBC title. I am the WBC world champion. He collected a franchise title, not a belt. A franchise title. He's not he is not the undisputed champion. I am the WBC champion. So T Fimo does not have all the belts. But what I'm That's asking, false. Devin, is what I'm asking is it's unclear who the best lightweight in the world is. All five of you guys need to fight and sort that out. But in terms of the traditions of boxing, the champion, all, the man who beat the man. Us, all four of us. Loma lost. Loma's out of it. It's all four of us. So you think it's a it's a single eliminator kind of tournament to see who the best lightweight in the world is? Of course. If you, you can't be the best lightweight in the world and you just lost. There's no way. When you say Loma was the franchise champion, that's a way that the WBC has of stripping a guy without really stripping him. But then the regular champion is considered a notch below the franchise champion. But you say because no, you no. have that belt, you're disputing his tail's claim to the title? No, the franchise title is, uh, is a way to duck your mandatory. I have mandatories. I'm WBC champion, and I have mandatories. Luma didn't have mandatories. He got, but he got elevated to the franchise champion, and that's when I became— when, when I was his mandatory, he petitioned to become a franchise champion to where he didn't have any mandatories. Devin Haney has mandatories. The By franchise the way, title I... is for ducks. By the way, I want to say, you're giving a legitimate point of view here. And just to make it clear for the audience, to me, my, my point of view is, and a lot of people in boxing feel, if you've collected the belts and you can't make every mandatory because each sanctioning body is making demands, they call you a franchise champion, they elevate you, and then they vacate their quote-unquote regular championship. Devin's argument exactly. here that he just made is, in fact, that's one way to look at it. Another way to look at it is... A franchise champion means you didn't have to fight your mandatory. That's a duck. So Devin collects the belt because what else is he supposed to do? Um, I, I appreciate that argument, Devin, so, whether or so not I agree say, with it. I understand from your point so, of view. So when you say you can't say TFEMO has all the belts or TFEMO is undisputed or TFEMO is the champion in, in, in the lightweight division because there's still one more belt. He has a franchise title. I'm a WBC world champion. I understand your point. We could, we, you and I could probably debate that for the next hour, but it's, you're, you're pursuing your professional goals and winning all of your fights. Ryan Garcia was on this show recently and said, you know what, he wants Tank Davis. Devin Haney should fight Teofimo Lopez, and, the, and then the winner of those two fights should fight. How do you feel about that plan? I feel like that's funny because... Ryan Garcia just fought a title, eliminator, title eliminator to become my mandatory. He's my mandatory. So instead of getting a shot at a world title, he'd rather go another direction. This is the first time in history that I ever heard of this. I never, I never, I never heard of anything like this where two guys, meaning Luke Campbell and Ryan Garcia, fight for a title eliminator to go to go fight the champion and fight for the WBC title to go to go the opposite direction. It makes no sense. Tank doesn't have a belt at 135. Now, I've, we've seen in boxing history, um, sometimes there, it's the tortoise and the hare, right? Like, one guy can jump out to a lead in terms of public perception, but usually the cream rises to the top. That when, the, when the dust settles, when the smoke clears, you see what's what, and those are the guys who get the super fights. Nevertheless, at least in the short run, when a guy makes a splash the way Ryan Garcia did knocking out Luke Campbell, what you're just pointing out is it gives him economic clout especially when the, he has 8 million Instagram followers. Are you saying that... He, so, so you have a belt, you're disputing Teo's claim to the championship, and you're saying, this dude's my mandatory, but he's acting like the champion who's ducking me. Doesn't that 
point out that the belts are merely promotional tools and that the distinction of champion is separate from the belts? Uh, I do. Well, and I think that the belts are getting watered down in, in the sport of boxing. Uh, the the sanctioning bodies and you know the organizations they're 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 watering the belts down to where the fighters are at a point to where they don't even care about the belts anymore. Which mm -hmm. me, I'm different. Um, I'm a fighter that when I, when I when I got into this, it wasn't only to make money. It wasn't only to have fame. It was to let to collect belts. And at the end of the day, I'm making crazy money, but I want belts. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube for live streaming sports and premium content. Subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.